So, coding is a very vague term. It's basically the fundamentals of what makes something work, especially more nowadays digitally. So, for an example, a computer, if you open the back up of a computer, you can see all the little um, bits that make the computer work. In order for these bits to function, they need to be communicating with each other. And that is the language which we refer to as code. It's also when you go into your internet and you see a website, that doesn't just appear there. Something has needed to be written in order for that to display that way. And that is another form of code. It's important that people learn to code because it's the future. The majority of businesses now are based upon the internet or digital. So by people to learn to code, they are at the forefront of the economy. The skills you would develop when you're learning to code is relative to the sort of mindset that you already need to engage with coding. So these are problem solving, teamwork, communication, creativity, confidence and coding. Now, for an example of this, in coding, especially web design, you're going to be faced with a lot of problems that you don't know how to fix straight away. So, you don't want to be scared off by this, you need to actually use that to embrace, to fuel the objective that you're trying to fulfill. Uh, there's teamwork that needs to be involved because you, usually in companies especially you're working within a team which needs to be communicated effectively and you need to be in creative in the way that you problem solve. So one objective that is faced might have a million of ways of doing it and it's about how you can be intuitive and creative in order to solve that and create that. So the jobs a coder would typically do could be web design, it could consist of being a essential part within a creative agency. Um, it doesn't just go within coding. They could then go on to being in social media, marketing, uh, design, graphic design, anything that is based within digital or in the internet. Anybody can learn to code. At the age of 51 last year, instead of watching lots of films on television, I decided I'd teach myself how to code. Uh, and once the mystery came away from uh, the word coding, I understood that actually I could do it. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. All you need is the attitude of wanting to learn. And if you're curious about problem solving, then absolutely you can learn to code. Uh, Codex was an idea that was established last year. And it was the idea was that if I, at the age of 51, could learn to code, then I and a former student of mine, Jordan Love, could get together and train the unemployed to get jobs. They've now got jobs or placements, so their lives have changed. We've trained older people, we've trained young people, and what we're doing with the GTA is continuing that mission, is to uh, tell people that coding is a future career, and also any age is uh, a reality in terms of uh, getting jobs within coding. So what we're doing with the GTA is doing two-hour taster sessions to give people a feel for coding, taking away the mystery of coding, and giving people confidence to take it one stage further. Uh, we've got some really exciting plans at the end of September. We've got a two-day weekend course for those people who want to take it that one stage further. That's an unbelievable opportunity for people to learn those skills of coding within a weekend have intensive tuition and have the opportunity to learn the tricks of the trade, the tools and the knowledge to take them one stage further, closer to a career within coding or within the digital industries. It's an opportunity too good to miss.